The Wagner Group leader, the armed forces of Ukraine, will arrive in Rostov. The leader of the Wagner Group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, said that the Russian army left part of their positions in Bakhmut and exposed part of the front, which had to be covered by the Wagnerites. He gave an ultimatum to the Russian Defense Ministry and the General Staff. If his mercenaries are not given ammunition, they will leave their positions. We received a combat order where it was said that withdrawal from the positions would be considered high treason. This, first of all, was aimed at us. If there is no ammunition, we will withdraw from our positions. Instead of fighting, Russian forces are constantly having intrigues. We have a Ministry of Intrigue instead of the Ministry of Defense, so our army is running away. It's running because the 72nd Brigade on the 9th of May lost three square kilometers, on which I lost about 500 people because it was a strategic foothold. They just ran away. Prigozhin attacked the Russian Defense Ministry with another batch of criticism. According to him, despite the promised ammunition and the appointment of Sergei Surovikin, almost no changes occurred. He said the Wagnerites were allocated 10% of what they demanded. We were deceived. Prigozhin said that Valery Gerasimov, chief of the general staff of the Russian Federation, personally reduced the number of weapons they wanted to allocate to the Wagner Group. Prigozhin claimed Ukrainian forces were currently tearing up the flanks in Bakhmut while also regrouping in nearby Zaporizhia to launch a long-anticipated counter-offensive. They are absolutely clear. The counter-offensive will be on the ground, not on television, Prigozhin warned. At the same time, Prigozhin said that his mercenaries would remain on the Bakhmut front. We will fight and then we will figure it out. He said that if soldiers of the Wagner Group leave their positions, the armed forces of Ukraine will come to Rostov.